Hi there. Following the very heavy thunderstorms that some parts of the UK saw over the weekend and a slightly quieter start to the week, we've got more rain to come as Atlantic weather returns. The first signs of that already into parts of Wales and the southwest. It's been a damp start to Wednesday. That band of rain pushing into the Midlands, the south and southeast, as well as parts of Northern Ireland by the afternoon. Northern England, Scotland, mostly dry, but it will be increasingly cloudy and there'll be a few showers about, particularly for northern Scotland, where there will be a cold breeze, although some brighter skies at times for Shetland and for Orkney. So temperatures in the far north, 10 or 11 Celsius. Towards the south, feeling unpleasant under the band of rain. But as the rain clears Devon and Cornwall, it will feel warmer once again with southwesterlies and temperatures of 18 Celsius. Although those southwesterlies will bring further showers in through the evening, even some longer spells of heavier rain overnight. And the main band of initial rain pushes into North Wales, Northern England, Southern Scotland and Northern Ireland, where it comes to a rest for some hours. And it will turn increasingly persistent and heavy, particularly over North East England. Just about avoids uh, central and northern Scotland where there will be some clear skies overnight and with the colder air in place, temperatures dropping once again into the low single figures, a touch of ground frost around first thing. But in the south, it's a mild night with the southwesterlies and the heavy showers around. Those showers will be with us first thing across the south coast, South Wales as well. Some brighter interludes in between the showers, but across this central swathe of the UK, with there's this heavy and persistent rain that will accumulate, particularly through the morning and particularly for parts of North East England. North York Moors, Pennines, you could see 80 millimetres or so, perhaps more in one or two spots, 50 millimetres more widely, and that could cause localised flooding, transport disruption. But it does ease later in the afternoon and we'll see, again, a marked contrast in temperatures across the UK. We've got the cold air in the north, but much milder air further south with temperatures closer to average in southern England, although with gusty winds and heavy showers moving through during the afternoon, it's not going to feel particularly pleasant if you're caught in those showers. Then the band of rain moves south and uh, becomes lively once again across parts of Wales, the Midlands, East Anglia. There is the risk on Thursday night and into the start of Friday of uh, 30 millimetres in a hour or two and perhaps 40 to 60 millimetres in several hours in some locations. A little bit of uncertainty about where exactly we'll see the heaviest rain, but there is the risk again of localised flooding and of course that rain hitting areas that had, have already seen some heavy rain through the weekend. It's mild though in the south with that rain first thing Friday, colder further north with northerly winds starting to push south. Those northerly winds will help to clear the rain, but it could be a tricky rush hour through the M4, M5 first thing Friday before the rain eventually eases. Some heavy showers potentially affecting the south coast for a time, but by the afternoon many places are drier and brighter. There will be showers coming through on those northerly winds, particularly for northern Scotland, northern Ireland, but interspersed by sunny spells, and it's going to feel a lot colder everywhere with those northerly winds arriving and below average temperatures across the board. Having said that, although it will be colder than normal through the weekend, much brighter skies return, and for many, it's a dry weekend with just one or two showers and plenty of sunny spells.